Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau, I'm the lead developer of Open Sesame, and today I'm going to show you a tech preview of OS Web, an uh, online runtime environment for Open Sesame experiments. So this is a very early version of a tool to run Open Sesame experiments, which you would normally run in a browser or on a tablet or on a phone, in uh, a web browser. So you can run your Open Sesame experiments online. Uh, this is work that's done uh, largely by Jaap Bos, an engineer from the University of Groningen, and Daniel Schrij, one of the core Open Sesame developers. So all of the credit uh, for the work uh, that you will see here is, is, is for them. Now, what I will do is just show you a very simple experiment, this one, a gaze queuing experiment. And I will first run the experiment in uh, just in Open Sesame, the desktop application, uh, under Ubuntu in this case, but under Windows or Mac OS it would work exactly the same way. And then I will run the same experiment in, uh, in a web browser. And so in this experiment, just to give you a bit of background, participants see a smiley face. And uh, this smiley face looks either to the left or to the right side of the screen, but it is completely irrelevant for the task. What the participants have to do at the same time is identify a target letter, which can be an F or an H. So they have to press one key if they see an F and another key if they press an H. And on some trials, the smiley face happens to look at the target letter and participants are fast. And on other trials, the smiley face happens to look at, uh, in the other direction from the target letter so, and participants are slow. In other words, the, the main finding from this experiment is that participants automatically uh, follow the gaze of the smiley face, even if, if, the, if this is not relevant for the task uh, at hand. Now, that's a bit of background, so let's just run the experiment. So I'll run it in a window for you. Okay, so the, the instructions, press Z if you see an F and M if you see an H, let's go. So I'll we'll run eight trials, just a very short block. So you will have to bear with me. Right, so you see that the, the smiley face looks to the left or to the right, and I have to ignore the smiley face essentially and report whether I see an F or an H. Now I've, I've done this many, many, many times, so I'm pretty good at it. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, now and then at the end of the block, the participants get a bit of feedback on their uh, reaction time in this case, but you can also give them feedback, of course, on their accuracy and so on. Now, so let's stop this, let's abort this experiment and switch to a browser. So here I open Google Chrome, but you can run it also in any, uh, any reasonably modern uh, browser. Uh, and I will run the exact same experiment that I will just, was just running in Open Sesame uh, Desktop. Right, so I'll drag it to here, choose file, I'll click run experiment, it will ask me for subject number, I have to press with the mouse on the screen and then you will see I get the instruction screen, press Z if you see an F and M if you see an H, let's go, and then I do the exact same experiment, there's no difference and that's kind of the point on that we can just can, you can run the, your desktop experiment in a browser without really, without it making any kind of real difference, so uh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so I'll do uh, eight trials and then show you that the, uh, the feedback at the end of the experiment also works. And the block your average reaction time was 538 milliseconds. So you see, this is kind of the idea. We want to, we want to, and we actually already are quite a long ways towards a system that allows you to run open sesame experiments uh, without any restrictions in a, uh, in a web browser. And that is always web. That's what we are currently work working on. Thank you very much.